the road again. On the road oh, again. Oh, wait, what's the Muppets? We're moving right along. Footloose and fancy free. Welcome to Mandatory Update. Hi. I'm Elise Willows. I'm Ian Hink. And this is Mandatory Update on, on tour. tour. Uh, we got Bossy up here driving us around. Thank you, Bossy. Bosman, you insured? Yes. Are you insured for this? Absolutely. Shoots. Yeah. All right. Noble shoots? Mobile shoots, check that box. Pretty sure this is highly illegal in the state <laughs> oh, yeah. of California. Probably. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, we're in our own uh, property, we, right? We don't know that. We don't know. Uh, we're hoping everything's working. So we we don't have access to our stage today. We don't have access to our stage because we we're getting a fancy new stage. Yeah, but we still wanted to do mandatory updates. Positive spin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, we, and we wanted to do kind of a regular mandatory update. Yeah, we tried sort to of. find a different stage to use, but a lot of them are like heavily branded or they were being used, so. And then we said, what if we do something completely normal and have Bosman drive us around like well, a chauffeur? Well, Kyle can't do something like, hey guys, I don't, I don't know if you're interested, but I've kind of got a car and I've always wanted to shoot something. That's what I'm Bossman kidding, sounds Kyle. like. It was not Bossman's but. idea, though. We, can, we can't give him credit for this. Oh, no. It was, no, no. It was Ian's idea. Yeah, absolutely. And I said, uh... And she, she wasn't into it at first. But now she is. Right? I just, you right. know, you've been... When you've been filmed in a car Watch before... Watch out for those kids, Uh... When... Like the bang bus? <laughs> when you've been filmed on the bang bus. When you've been on the bang bus. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Uh, anyway. I was on the bang bus. Anyways, it's been a long time since we've done a. a I'm not sure episode. I remember how. Then let's get started. Let's try it. Uh, In cue the intro. Cue the intro. Me. All right, we have that we intro. Go. Starbreeze Studios has announced a new VR game based on martial arts film John Wick, starring Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is jockeying to play the lead, despite the game being a first-person shooter. We asked Keanu how that will work, and he told us if we find out not to tell him because he wants it to be a surprise. He also said he likes pineapple juice and getting real letters in the mail. Keanu. <laughs> I feel so bad making this joke because he seems like such a nice man. Keanu's a sweetheart. Keanu's like a good man. He's always really great to the crews on his sets, uh -huh. and he, he gives a lot. Um, John Wick VR game, though, would be amazing. Oh, yeah. Are we going to talk about every joke after we do them? We could, theoretically. Kyle, what do you think about the John Wick game? Kyle? Uh, I'm very excited. I'm nervous about Starbreeze's VR headset. I don't know how Starbreeze themselves can pull off. Wait, they got headset. another headset? Yeah, they're making oh, their own headset. Really? Too many goddamn headsets, people. Yeah, nobody can buy all these headsets. They're so sweaty. All right, I'm going to read a joke now. Some really terrible Gamescom cam footage of Fallout 4 found its way onto Pornhub this week. I thought the acting was bad and I wish there wasn't music in it, but I liked the eye contact. It really felt like they cared about each other. <laughs> it's a Pornhub joke. I like a good Pornhub joke. Yeah. Do you think that Pornhub will rival YouTube for being the number one gaming platform now that, uh... <laughs> yes. You're not gonna fit their truck. You're out of your mind. Um, yes, I do. Why? Because it's got everything that gamers want. Games, great interface. Great interface, working, workable interface, and uh, bukkake. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, whose turn is it? Capcom is remaking Resident Evil 2 in HD. No word yet on a release date, but we're getting reports that it will at least come out before the Resident Evil 3 HD remake. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, do you think they're just going to keep pumping them out? Are we actually talking about everything? Yeah. This is like a combo episode. I thought that people would enjoy it because a lot of people like Man Ups Nights. A lot of people well, this is like great because then I don't have to update. edit stuff out as much. No, man, we just keep rolling. My, that parking garage where we set everything up for a half an hour before doing this was very hot. Oh, yes. It is I'm sweaty as hell. It is in this car. Only because of Bossman's weird chemical tree that smells like fresh hell. I like your, your little air freshener, Kyle. I don't like artificial scents. There I said it. I'll read a joke now. Uh, the first, oh, for the first, I assume this is supposed to say time. At least it's removing her teleprompter. <laughs> for the first time in the international's history, an American team has brought home the top prize. Called the Evil Geniuses, the US-based Dota 2 competitors took home $6.6 million of the $18 million prize pool. And we don't care. We'll never care. Do you care? Why can't we care about 
I don't e-sports. care. Esports, Kyle. Why can't we? Why can't we? It doesn't. It doesn't give me emotions. What does give you emotions? I was Kyle? thinking about. I was thinking about this in the drive to work today, actually. How you don't have feelings? No. Uh, I was thinking about watching like professional sports. I was thinking, oh, because we talked about how I watched men's indoor volleyball at the Olympics. And like I didn't expect to like that, and I learned to love it. You know, I, a little, I, a little the, thing came away. The emotions you were, hot, were high. Yeah. yeah, two and two volleyball is I awesome. Went, I went to two years ago. I went to the League of Legends grand finals. Uh-huh. No emotions. Yeah, I felt nothing. It's just a bunch that. of bleeps and bloops. It's bunch a bunch of little of pixels running around doing stuff you don't understand. Creeps. What, and and, and creeps and pots breaking do you, pots. Do you think if they were showing more emotion? And, and we'd be able to get into it more. Maybe, I don't know, because I, I get way into watching Street Fighter. Strasse Fatir. Strasse Fatir. I, I, just, I think it's the game. I think you gotta love the game well, to, love the, yeah. to watch the Don't hate and the player, and Kyle. And yeah. Street Fighter is more of like a, you know, it's it, that's an intense, like, short round. Like Whereas... from like from the Temple of Doom, short round. <laughs> Uh, Harmonix is giving PlayStation Plus members 10 extra songs with a pre-order of Rock Band 4. These include Summertime Boy by C Stick C Steve, Mona Lisa by Dead Sarah, and Throne by Bring Me the Horizon. Hey Rock Band, MySpace called. It wants its music back. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you were supposed to do Kyle, that. Kyle, you were supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, that, thing, that was very funny when our, in our read-throughs, but you two have actually been laughing at all your own jokes this whole time. Yeah, sort of that's because because that's we love we're ourselves. hilarious. <laughs> Bosman, I hope you're in your camera. I hope so. <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, can I say? Can I say? Huh? I'm, I'm actually really excited for Rock Band Four. I'll play the shit out of it. The um, only good song, by the way, is "The Reflex" by Duran Duran. And those yes. Ten free songs. Yes, that's true. That's why Actual I didn't don't include bump the mic. it in the Sorry. list. But. What I do always appreciate about, about Rock Band or Guitar Hero is these like shitty songs that, or sh- presumably sh- shitty songs that you've never heard of. Uh-huh. They actually turn out to be really good songs. Sometimes they're really good. I heard there's a light. Someone on Twitter told me there's a lightning bolt song in this. It doesn't matter to you guys, but I'm pretty excited about it. Uh-huh. Konami has reported its financial performance for the quarter ended March 31st, 2015. The company reports growth in digital entertainment, while other divisions are flat or show decreases. Konami says that its mobile offerings and partnership with Satan are largely responsible for bolstering performance in these areas. (laughs) See, she laughs. laughs. What? She's a supportive partner to my comedic exercise. And I support her. I, I just love rooming into Konami, but it's like, they're a business, they and they're, made, they're yeah. just trying to make money. They made their choice. Why do we always have to shit on this Because we're in the gaming sphere, and they've abandoned us. No, they, they do. They have, a, they have a bad public image right now. Right. We have to fix it. Do we they gotta have, let them know. But I don't know if they have a responsibility to I don't, us. I don't, also, I don't think they give a shit. They've given up on gaming because they don't want to do it anymore. It doesn't sure. make them any money. It costs too much, and it doesn't make, you know. Well, yeah. The They're, top ten. That's a crazy fountain outside uh, the Hustler building. I think, like, the top ten grossing horror movies, maybe of the uh, 2000s, are, like, all horror movies. Yeah. Because you're... The you're top ten turn. grossing horror movies are all horror movies? No, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> say it right. I, I know what I you mean, misspoke. though. What are you turning this way? Take us to Disneyland. It's very far away. Yeah. We've got time. Universal City. Universal that Studios. That would be fun. That'd be so Let's fun. Let's do it. Don, Let's we'd go. have to pick up Don. Don we'd have to pick up Don. would be so upset if we went to Universal without him. Should uh, I call Don? If we ever do this again, we should just drive to Universal City. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would take just as long as getting to Anaheim. Anyway. Um, Star Wars Battlefront walked away with Gamescom 2015's Best in Show Award, the wet t-shirt contest trophy of the games industry. <laughs> We're just jealous because we didn't go to Gamescom. Yeah, Gamescom is really cool. And Europeans are so nice. Large, by and large. We got cool Bosman in the French seat in his shades. Yeah. Uh, oh, it goes on to the second page. Ah, uh, aren't you up for a challenge? I am. Okay, I'll just do this. Nintendo revealed that more than 50 Amiibo figures will be supported in Super Mario Maker. Players will be able to tap a compatible Amiibo to the Wii U gamepad, then use that character in the game's 8-bit Super Mario Bros. The- uh, Bossman, look out! Jesus. Ruined my kick-ass Kyle. Amiibo joke. Kyle, that was a good joke. Best joke of the show, now we can't do it. Just, just 
do it again. No, no, the moment's gone. Blizzard has a job posting for an art director on an unannounced project, which is clearly fucking Diablo. What if the project was fucking Diablo, like having sex with Diablo? We'd find out on Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> That's the confluence of porn and I'm gaming. I'm telling you, Pornhub <laughs> is fucking the future Diablo. of gaming. <laughs> uh, Destiny's executive producer Mark Noseworthy told Game Informer it was Hollywood nonsense that led to Dinklage's departure. Nolan North is a better choice because he's available. Said Noseworthy, you can just call him up and say, hey, next week we're going to do this inter internal play test and it would be great to get some ghost dialogue in there. Now, I know what you're thinking. This man's name is Noseworthy. Surely a mandatory update is going to make a joke about that. Well, you'd be wrong. We're not worthy. Our noses are not powerful enough. Noseworthy would have us destroyed, like actually killed. Mark Noseworthy would have us drug out into the street, publicly executed, and then no one would ever find the bodies or those responsible. But our ghosts would nose. We'd nose that Noseworthy got us, and you knows what? We'd be all right with it, because we had it coming. Lord knows we had it coming. Well done. It's a classic nose joke. Yeah. I, I replaced the word no, like K-N-O-W, with nose. But then the last one was was nose with an S, so it just sounds like the word nose anyway. You see? Do you think it paid off? Uh. <laughs> there will be some nasa nasal. <laughs> some, some nose say. Oh god. Some nasals. Yeah. It's yeah. in there. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Big finish. EA pulled Chicago Blackhawks hockey player Patrick Kane off the cover of NHL 16 amidst rape allegations. Meanwhile, Marcus Phoenix remains on the cover of Beers of War. <laughs> I promised the people in chat during Bossman's travesty of a stand-up routine that we'd point out which joke was Bossman's. It was that one. Oh, man. <laughs> he doesn't want... <laughs> Bossman, I'm willing to take responsibility for this amazing joke if you get flack about it. Yeah, that was Elise's joke. I didn't write that. Yeah, no, it's it's hilarious. It's Kyle. a hilarious joke! Look up, Kyle. Whoa, Jesus. We actually almost got hit by this Prius. <laughs> it's all on camera. <laughs> the insurance company's gonna have a field day <laughs> with this one. God. Uh, so anyway, we're about a block from the parking garage. Uh, Hopefully it just <clears throat> went okay. Uh, yeah. It, we'll see in about half an hour. But what a great, what a great idea! What Driving a around, day. three best friends, three best friends, on a and boss beautiful man, sunny day, walking around. Maybe in we a should car. stop for some Frogurt. Froyo? Frogurt? Anybody? No, the Frogurt contains potassium benzoate. That's bad. We've all seen it. Simpsons Bossman. Bossman hasn't oh, seen it. I haven't seen that one. Oh Bossman doesn't God. know anything. Yeah, that's, that's I've seen so a lot of Simpsons. Old, that's Bossman hasn't seen anything. Of, that's of Treehouse of Horror. Four? Three? Well, here we are at the parking garage. I don't care for the Treehouse episodes. Oh, they're the best ones. They're my favorite. Not canon. I was walking through the gas this one day. Dude, canon doesn't exist in Simpsons. Things You're do right. whatever they want. You're absolutely right, actually. Armin Tanzaria. Yeah. Armin Tanzarian, I think. Tanzarian. Well, that's the show for this week. That's the show. Thanks for watching. Good night and good yams. We're not going to have any outtakes. We should probably put something here. Oh, um. It's just. Rifling with some papers. Uh. We could put, we could put me trying to start all the cameras <laughs> at the beginning, at the end. <laughs> uh, oh god. These, I like these sunglasses, but they make my, my nose all sweaty. Oh yeah, I mean anything that's on here. Like that, but it's gonna make me sweat. Yeah. Like my balls on my legs. You put your balls on your nose, that's gonna make your nose sweat. You're gonna have ball nose. Yeah, Good old ball nose. Like a glove. How are you gonna get out of this though, Bossman? Uh, I get out of this like every morning. This is like my parking spot at home. Let's go get some like green tea. I want some green tea later. I bet our machine does green tea. Thanks. No, I asked. Thanks, Kyle, oh. for driving us around. No problem. It doesn't do iced tea. Gentle dogs. That camera 
is rolling and upside down for some reason, but I have to just flip it later. Something goes wrong and it stops blinking. Oh, no. All right, let's let's get. All right, we got a clap. Hang on. Hang on. 